a long time ago when I was young and um, I had the misfortune to find this guru in Hampstead right. and um, I went there for about 16 years. I met my, my best friend there, Magda, who became mm. a Sajogi. And this man was very um, doer. You weren't allowed, you know, if you weren't already, ever already married, you were celibate. You weren't allowed to, you know, have any relationships with people. It was like that. And in a way, it was helpful because I was an actress and it did kick me out of a lot of troubles that I could have got into. Mm. But anyway, I got in a quite a bad state. I'd been going there for 16 years, and then Magda, who lived in Hampstead, she said, oh, there's a lady yogini coming to give a program. Let's go. And I was in such a bad state, I was so left-sided, I, I didn't go. It was on a Saturday, and Magda went with her daughter, Dania. And I saw them afterwards, and they were full of this lady. Oh, she's lovely. She's got lots of flowers. She holds the babies. Everybody talks to each other. I said, it's wonderful. <coughs> so the next week, I went to Caxton Hall, and Sri Mataji wasn't there. Anyway, they sat me in the front. I sat in front of the photograph, and I had an amazing experience. Um, I just felt everything I feel for my own mother came up in cinema scope all these emotions that you have about your mother, it was just huge. And so I had this idea about Sri Mataji, that she was going to be a little lady, oh, come, darling, have a cup of tea, lots of jewellery, flowers, all <laughs> friendly. <laughs> so I went to Caxton Hall the week after, and Mother, I was sitting right in the front, I was as near as I am to Brenda, sitting there, and there was Mother's chair and she came in and she wasn't anything like this little lady covered in flowers have a cup of tea dear she looked like an opera star she had the white she swept in she looked round you know how she does sometimes she looks like that and the first thing and I was having a very bad relationship with someone at the time the first thing she said was this silly woman in New York she's wasting her life on this worthless man she's throwing her life away and Magda she was sitting next to me, she went, <laughs> 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 anyway, I mean, to say I was awestruck is putting it mildly. I thought, here, mother looked like the epitome of intelligence. She had the most wonderful skin like a child, beautiful. And she, she had this garland of marigold that she took off. And because we were sitting right there, she gave us the flowers to Aww. smell. And then she spoke. And I... Uh, well, I don't know what to say. It was just amazing. Mm. And then in those days, she used to get up and she'd mm. she'd worked on everyone. Mm. And when she got to me, she put her hand on her, my head and she went, "Oh, the clash with the world, the heat." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I went home, and the next week I still went to this other guru. I, you know, I'd been there going for so long, and I thought, well, this isn't right, this isn't right. And a few days later, I went to Caxton Hall again, and we took a friend of ours from this meeting, who was very rude to Mother, which was horrible. But at the end, Mother, when we, got, when we all got up, Mother clasped my hands. I was sitting on the end, she said, don't worry about anything. All the warmth is there, you're going to be all right. And I was far from all right, but after a few weeks, it got better. And then after that, I just never looked back. Yeah. Eventually, I got married in Sahaj, and I became mother's secretary, and I spent lots of time with her. So I can never thank mother for what she got me out of and how much she's given me. Yes.